Hi guys. All right. Well, here is the report from the Finger Lakes in New York, baby. On this lovely, uh, it is noon on Monday, July 29th, 2024. Uh, now the, if you go on right now, onto the weather for Ithaca, New York. Uh, it is saying it is sunny. That this is sunny. And we're looking at bright sunshine and 87 degrees today. Well, it's 75 degrees at noon. Don't think it's going to be making it to 87. And you know, guys, I, I honestly don't know what, what what I'm looking at. I mean, I can I can vaguely make out what is supposed to be blue and what is supposed to be white clouds. Uh, looks a little bit better when you turn to due west. You can you can see the tiniest hint of a powdery blue. Uh, have not gotten the Ithaca AQI of the day. Uh, but at least it's uh, keeping it from 87. I'm sure... Uh, what's your name? I never can remember this dude's name. Amorous Aftermath or something. Uh, <laughs> Yep, this, this is living proof of global dimming here. Uh, now this shit will uh, at least keep us a little cooler sitting here driving through. So these are what these dead trees that we're going through are. Uh, th there's some kind of spruce tree. This is the kind of tree that just fell in my yard uh, during the last big wind. You know, so there, there'll be whole groups of these things, like, like this whole grove here is healthy, and then a hundred feet away, so here's this line of healthy ones, and then you've got the two dead ones right next to it. I, I not sure what the spruce killing Those people better get that goddamn thing, that dead spruce tree right beside their house. Can't believe those uh, didn't come down a lot. Like if, if those spruce trees had come down and uh, in that last big wind, that house would be flattened. Uh, I, I bet right now, uh, within a 50 mile radius, I, I bet there's at least 1,000 houses and trailers like that one there. Uh, you, you can just drive down the street looking at houses and trailers with, uh, with dead trees looming over them. Uh, there's another one. Uh, it seems to be mostly these dead spruce trees that are endangering uh, houses like that one. Uh, although it's... See, the, the ash trees uh, don't tend to be nearly as big as spruce trees, although it would still hurt like hell to have one of these dead ash trees uh, fall on your house or your car. All right, now that house does have a dead spruce tree, but it's leaning away from the house. At least the house for sale doesn't have. Uh, now that one, uh, hard to tell, their barn is getting ready. I I'm changing my estimate from 1,000 to 10,000. Uh, it, it looks like there's more houses than not with dead trees looming over them. And, and, and it can cost anywhere 
Uh, I, it can cost anywhere from $200 to $2,000 to get rid of one of these trees just to put the tree on the ground to keep it from falling on your house. Uh, the, the normal quote uh, around here I'm getting is $200. It's $200 just for the, uh, the guy to come out to your house and drop the tree on the ground so it doesn't hit your house. Uh, that's $200 and that's it. They come out there, they get out of their car, uh, they, they get out their chainsaw, they aim the tree uh, away from your house and just drop a big fucking tree in your yard for $200. But then of course if you want it sawed up, uh, good lord, depending on the size of the tree, uh, you're looking at another $200 to $500 fucking dollars. And obviously if you want the thing hauled off, uh, to, to, to come get one. My guess is, uh, I, I, I'm just guessing by t talking to these tree guys, t t you know, to get one of these big dead spruce trees like the, the one that uh, just fell on my neighbor's property. Now that was a two trunked one and only one of the trunks fell. So I've still got to uh, put that tree on the ground, but it's not you know poised to fall on anybody's house uh, but but it could cost two thousand dollars to uh, see that that one will be dead by next year uh, I would say 20 percent of these spruce trees uh, and the finger lakes are dead 98 percent of the ash trees uh 98 percent of the ash trees are dead and about in the summer of 2024 20 percent of the spruce trees my guess i'm just figuring within 10 years in 10 years that virtually 100 percent of the spruce forest and the Finger Lakes of New York will be dead. Uh, the ash trees will already be gone. So, so uh, look, look at these guys. So right now they have an identical spruce tree to mine. They have one of these big double trunk spruce trees which is in the process of dying. See that whole line is dying. Uh, so they have one of these big ass and here's another one, a uh, big ass spruce tree uh, right up by somebody's house. Now, when that son of a bitch dies, it looks good and healthy. Uh, I, I mean, that would absolutely flatten that house. It's house after house after house after house after house. Uh, you know, looking to spend hundreds or thousands of dollars uh, over the next a uh, few years getting these goddamn uh, dead trees uh, cut away from their houses. So Groot, if you're listening and uh, you're sick of LA, uh, I would say there is plenty of work for uh, arborists in the Finger Lakes of New York. So here is one of these trees that fell in the big wind nice lumber pile. There's two spruce trees on the ground right over there. This is in the little town of Danby, New York, where a bunch of trees came down. Uh, yep. And you wonder why we're fucked. Now that, that's not, that's a maple tree. Uh, I have no idea why that big maple tree is dying you know the the big maple tree right out by my hummingbird tiny house is dying it's probably got three or four years left in it uh where are you stopping you motherfucker are you stopping or not 
uh, his red lights were not on. Uh, Anywho's, but at least that big maple tree uh, by Hummingbird is it's not going to fall on Hummingbird. It's going to fall right into the creek right smack into the creek and cause a big flood hazard so my guess is in three years i am going to be uh in three years i'm going to be getting uh spending hundreds of dollars if not more all right i have no idea why they're having a big garage sale on monday but I like the everything on the tarp, one dollar is calling my name. So hopefully I can get in and out of this uh, garage sale without that dead ash tree falling on me. Uh, we're so fucked. My guys, enjoy your wildfire smoke while you still can.